All right, so I am going to try and make a little tutorial about how to start putting together this scale armor. I've made a little piece here earlier this afternoon. This is what we're uh, eventually going to be able to construct. What I'm going to make for this tutorial is just a little bit of it. I'm going to use multicolored scales so that you can see a little better. Uh, with gold and green here. These are uh, from the Ring Lord, which is a place in Canada that's very convenient to buy these things from. So, let's get started. So I've got my tools here. Got some scales. Some green ones, some gold ones, got some rings. These are uh, stainless steel uh, and the scales here, they're anodized aluminum, so they're very lightweight. So we start by opening up a few rings, like so. I'm just using uh, regular pliers that I got at the hardware store. Uh, they have teeth here that grip the steel real well, but they also will mark it, especially if the rings you're using have uh, an anodized coating or something like that. So you don't want to use them if they're going to be... You don't want to use pliers like this if the rings are going to be seen. But, for this purpose, uh, the rings are going to get hidden behind scale, so uh, it should be alright. Alright, so, we're going to do green row in the middle. So we'll start with the, with the green, and then we'll have gold. A couple of petals of gold, and then green. And a couple more petals of gold. We'll build it up until we have three of the gold so that we can then join it across here to this piece. So once we get to something like that, then uh, we'll look at joining these two pieces together. Alright, put that out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Put the two, first two pieces together. Loop a ring through it. Just using these regular pliers from the hardware store. They will mark up the metal a little bit, but since they're gonna since the metal's behind the scales, shouldn't matter too much. And you see how I'm holding the scale where it's gonna go, and uh, that will make sure that I put the ring through in the right way. It's possible ooh, it's possible to knock things off of my little work table here. Uh, it is possible to put the rings through in a way that it's not going to lie flat and that's gonna cause you problems if you do it. So uh, I do recommend holding up the scale right where it's supposed to go. And I'm building this from the front right now. Uh, it's easier to see while I get started. And then once I've got a little bit more of the armor built, then I'll start building it from the back because then it's easier to reach everything with the pliers. I'm definitely not claiming to be the fastest at this. <laughs> There's certainly a lot more people that have more practice. I'm actually fairly new with the scale building. I've done a lot of chainmail type stuff, but I haven't done scale any full scale pieces yet. And I'm sort of looking forward to it, because I think the scale looks pretty neat. See, I knocked some of my rings off the box, so I gotta open a few more. Right. 
And this is just doing the same thing over and over again. Now you get to a point when you have a few scales that it's easy to sort of have it plop and turn into nothing. Uh, so it's good to try and be careful and keep all of your work on the table as you're in this in-between phase so you don't have to spend a lot of time doing what I'm doing now and straightening it back out. out. So now we have as much built as what I built before. And I'm just going to do a little bit more. Oops, this ring is not Ta-da. Okay. So, this is what I haven't done before. So you guys get to witness me fumbling around a little bit. I'm going to add one more uh, gold scale up here so that it'll match up. So this green will match this. Sorry, this green will match this green, this green, this green. Gold, 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 gold. And the one I'm about to add. have to merge together. So I'm going to start down here. And you can see how that was put together down there before. Need to open up a ring. Now, during this process, I'm going to have to just sort of mess it up to get the ring through. I'll straighten it back out once I've got the ring closed. one. Okay, sorry that took me a second to re-flatten this out. Uh, I figured you didn't need to watch me as I shuffled around. So let's go ahead and get the next ring. So that's going to be this gold one is right above this one. And so it needs to hook to this green. It'll lie on top of that green and it'll actually lie on the bottom of this green. So putting it on top Loop it through. I'm going to try and keep the whole shebang on the table this time so I don't have to reshuffle it so much. Alright. And you get another ring right up through there. Kapow. Now, this guy is our last one, and since we don't have another green one up above, it's just going to hook right there. And 
now we have a tiny bit of armor. Now we have a fairly uneven bit of armor, uh, but I flipped it over, so now I'm going to start working from the back. And this is nice because I can see where all of the rings are and where they're supposed to go. And uh, I'm going to start by sort of evening this out, get myself a couple more of these green scales, and uh, a couple more of the gold scales. And for our purposes today, I think I'm actually just going to stop after getting the green scale right there. And making it four rows across on all of the... or four columns uh, for all of the gold. So, let's open up a few more rings. Alright. So... Got us a few more rings, and I'm just going to go ahead and start building. Uh, it's probably easiest to build and continue building in one direction only uh, at a time, so you can get used to doing the exact same motion over and over again. But it's pretty similar to build onto the bottom here as it is to build onto the side here or the top. So I'm just going to build everywhere. And again, I'm going to try and keep this thing laying flat so that it always ends up looking properly after I add each piece so I don't accidentally tangle the thing irreparably. So let's go ahead and add the gold guy there. And the green guy in between. are shaking too much. I must be nervous or have been getting too old, something like that. All right, so far so good. sorting through here and making sure it all lays flat. Uh, one thing to notice is I've got all of the stainless steel rings here sort of looped around in the same direction and when it hangs from the top these things will bear the weight down so they sort of angle in down towards the inside of the armor like that make sure that that's how you have them oriented when rings get flipped over the other way it makes little bulges appear and uh, makes it seem like your armor is tangled up All right. so I'm gonna 
gold right there. And two more. So that guy has to go behind. I'm just grabbing the rings with my fingers right now. Uh, if you ever, well, eventually you probably get into a situation where you have a lot of armor there and it's hard to get your fingers where they need to go. You can use your pliers to position the ring. Uh, I also have a pair of bent nose pliers here that obviously have a bent nose and they can be really invaluable for positioning the ring. Uh, it's a little hard to bend the rings into the shape uh, with these guys just because they don't have a whole lot of leverage but they're great for getting stuff into position. Also, uh, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but this is the first tutorial video I've ever done. So, yay me. And hopefully this turns out okay. One more. Okay, so now we have a little section of scale armor. And let's flip this over and see what it looks like from the front and the kind of look we're going for here. And obviously I went ahead and used colored scales to get a, make it easier for you to follow the tutorial, but um, in your own armor you may not want to go with green and gold, I don't know. But actually it does make a nice effect. Uh, the place I buy these from uh, that I mentioned earlier, the Ring Lord, uh, they've got a bunch of different colors. I got an assortment from them. So I've got a couple of reds, some black, and uh, I think this is a finish called Clear? I'm not sure. But it's very similar to the gold, just a little bit lighter. It's a more brushed look. And uh, somewhere around here, I put a blue and a purple. My uh, assortments didn't come very much blue and purple. And I'm kind of disappointed because it looks really awesome. But I don't know where I put those. So, uh, oh, they're right here. Check out that. And that. So, anyway, very vibrant. And uh, I hear you can also get white, and of course you can get bare aluminum, and uh, stainless steel, uh, mild steel, uh, if you are okay with the potential of oxidizing and corroding and all that kind of stuff. But uh, lots and lots of options, and uh, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Questions, post them in the comments, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video.